Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all great and have had a fantastic week. I hope that you guys enjoyed the Ojai video. That was a fun weekend. It was laid back, beautiful, sweet, kind of all at the same time. The Ojai Valley Inn is really cute. I don't know if you guys have been there, but if you get a chance to go, definitely go and spend a couple of days. It is, the grounds are so beautiful. You do have a little bit of like that magical vibe. Um, it was just really cute. When we, the night that we were leaving, they were having um, movie night underneath the wishing tree. So with like the popcorn stand and the big jumbo screen and the families all along the lawn. So it was really cute and um, I'm so happy that we went because it was a lot of fun. Actually, what they're really known for is their spa. So apparently it's like a world-renowned spa. So if you're a spa person, definitely check it out. It's not cheap, but um, that's kind of their thing. I, I don't know what number they are amongst all the spas, but they're, they're really high. Like that's their claim to fame and that's really what they pride themselves on so um i think if there was only if there was a drawback of the weekend i would say that there was a lot of flies um and it just might be the time of the year i feel like we have more flies here in la in general so it just might be across the board so that was the only thing because when i'm eating i don't like to be swatting flies away but you can't have it all right that's <laughs> whatever um it was beautiful i loved it and i would definitely go back and it was just a really really sweet place so so um i wanted to pop on and show you my ootd i am going out with or we're going to meet some friends at their house so casual night um i'm wearing that kate top that i was thinking about wearing to the garden party i wanted to show you guys how it actually fits because when i was showing it to you I didn't have the proper bra on. I had a strapless bra, but it wasn't proper. It was a little padded, which for me, like I have boobs. So anything that adds padding, I don't like because it pushes everything up, which some women love that. I don't love that. I try to minimize everything that I have, but I wanted to show you actually how it fits. So with the proper bra, I'm not falling out of it or pushing up in here and these aren't falling off because it's pushing up to the top. So this is how it really fits. I've paired it with just a pair of vintage Levi's. Surprise, surprise. Um, but again, I want to be comfortable and casual. And um, you know, when I'm going to a friend's house, I don't, I don't want to dress up. So, so that's that. I'm gonna probably pair it with um, my Alaya flats. So just kind of a quick put on my shoe, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, I'm just gonna pair it up with this. So simple, casual, and you guys can actually look to see what the um, the shirt actually, or the top should look like. I think you can also wear it off the shoulder, which is probably why it was coming off, but I don't love that because it creates a ripple back here. But I have seen this look too. Um, for today, I'm definitely gonna keep it over my shoulder and just, um, and just casual. So that's it. I just wanted to pop on. I'm, I'll pop on later. Um, I had a question about the aloe leggings to let like, go into a little bit more detail on what I think the change of fabric is. 100% there's a change. I wore them on Tuesday, the new leggings. They're different. They're different. So if you guys are into workout wear and wanting to know um, what the best ones are, stay tuned because I'll go through kind of what my faves are. And aloe is definitely a favorite, but the older leggings. So I'll go through that um, tomorrow or whenever. All right, you guys, hope you're great. Um, enjoy your day.
welcome back. This is kind of the midway point of my video this week because you guys already saw that I showed you my OOTD for going out with friends. And um, so I was talking to you guys about, or I left off talking to you guys about um, an ask that someone wanted me to go into, like a deeper dive of why I thought aloe yoga was different and it had changed. So I thought, okay, I'll do it this weekend. Um, it's summer and I am in workout wear a lot. I just finished Pilates. So I'm going to show you what I work out in and then I'm going to try to compare an old pair of leggings to new leggings and, um, you know, maybe it helps you guys as you're buying workout gear. So first things first, I did another treatment of Laser Genesis yesterday, although you guys are seeing this on Sunday, so it was actually Friday. Um, I don't have anything on my skin. Literally, I am just recovering, if you want to call it that, from um, the laser and the light peel. So same as kind of always, it's a little rough and, um, you know, just kind of waiting for it to heal. So that is my regime and that is what I do on a consistent basis, like every, I think it's like every five weeks. My derm doesn't live here. She commutes back and forth from New York. So I kind of work around her schedule. So it's, you know, depending on when she comes back out, my regime or my kind of monthly laser is like every definitely definitely like four to six weeks so I guess on average five weeks um, and so that seems to be working for me this will be the last one for the summer just because it's now starting to get warm and it's sunny on a regular basis um, the reason why I decided to do it now is even though we're going back east for nationals um, we're gonna be inside a convention center so I'm not gonna really see the Sun so I figure you know what that'll give me time to heal I can just put on SPF to just protect me from even the lights maybe wear a hat but for the most part I won't be out like the Sun so that's why I decided to do it but this will be the last one until definitely September maybe 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 even into October so um, so that's it so I'm day one actually not even 24 hours so um, that's that um, okay so workout wear okay so I'm really picky about workout wear and the reason is you know I have cellulite so I have to be really mindful of the fabrics that I wear um, and not that I am ashamed of my cellulite because it is what it is but it's not pretty I don't think it's pretty on me if you guys are all about your cellulite awesome more power to you for me don't totally love it again like I'm a dancer my body was out for display when we would do shows so it's always something that I was always aware of and mindful of and it really kind of taught me how to work with it and how what I can wear to disguise it and what definitely is not good so for me with cellulite white is never a good option for me and it's kind of really too bad because I really like like a white outfit um, I think in a white jean that's flared like wide-legged no problem anything that's like close to the body for me it's not my jam I don't feel like I look good or my best in it so I stay away from that so again you guys it's like figuring out what your what your jam is what your vibe is what is acceptable to you what is not and it's not a judgment of other people because Honestly, what you wear and how you wear it, totally, like, I never really have a judgment towards another person. For me, I have a judgment towards me. So, like, if I put on a pair of pants and it's something that doesn't kind of flatter my body type, I'm not going to wear it, even if it's, like, the latest greatest. So, same is true with a workout or workout wear, lounge wear. Um, so, dating back all the way from when I was a kid and I was a gymnast, being comfortable in what I was wearing to flip and tumble and turn and whatever was really important. So when I look for workout wear, there's a marriage between elasticity and almost like a suction of your muscles, your skin, 
um, and your fat even. So there's a balance there. Um, Lululemon has a good selection. They also cut in a way and stitch in a way that kind of helps um, accentuate different parts of your body at the same time as holding in like outside hip area or underneath your butt. So I do like Lululemon. Um, it's just that when I found Aloe and I found their Airlift is the one that I like. So it's um, it's got a little bit of a sheen and um, it's definitely a thicker but stretchy material. This was the original kind of Aloe Airlift release that they did. Um, I bought it in charcoal. I bought them in navy and I bought them in black. And I'll show you, maybe I'll insert it here of what I'm wearing right now. Um, and this is basically my staple when I go to Pilates. So I just recently purchased more Airlift from Aloe because they had a big sale. And when I got them, there was definitely a difference. So I'm going to show you, this is the original, okay, a little bit of a sheen, and this is the new one. You see that it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more sheeny. So here's my problem. It is a stiffer stretch and a lighter material. So a stiffer stretch means you're not going to, or for me, I can't move as comfortably as kind of like the more stretch of the thicker legging. And because it's lighter, you see like your imperfections more. So now it's like a legging that doesn't stretch as well with your body, so it doesn't move real well. And then because it's rigid, it like your your skin and your muscles don't move with the fabric. It kind of like pushes out of the fabric. And I don't even know if this makes sense, but it's like that for me is like a no-go and it's really hard to describe because um, it's kind of happening in the moment that it's happening but with the lighter less stretchy it's more rigid and because it's rigid when you move a certain way especially in Pilates it's like oh yeah great there's my cellulite love to see that so that's my thing that's why when I said to you a few videos back like has anybody noticed that aloe has changed um let me know do you guys feel that their fabrics and their material are not the same and it's just not as forgiving it's not as giving and um maybe they're getting ready to sell and you know when they're getting ready to sell and they want to show profits up and you know lots of money coming in they'll do that the quality will become less, they'll put it on sale, we all buy because we like the older version, and then their bottom line looks good, meanwhile we're unhappy with like the product that we're getting. So, so that's my beef with aloe. Um, as far as tank top, I really like, um, this is Splits 59 and it is a shorter version of like a longer tank and really comfortable splits 59 i think is a great company as well their jersey fabric is a little too soft for me and what i'm trying to conceal on my legs so i don't totally love it um i haven't gone through all of their leggings but i'm not one to buy like a stripe down the side or have like a design on the legging. I don't love that. So I'm basically a basic, no color, black, navy, gray. And so the ones that I tried from Splits, they're just a little too light. Um, but I do like their company and I do like their fabrics. And more importantly, it's the tank top that I wear and it's comfortable and it holds me in. I, it has a shelf bra and it's just something that works well with my body. So, so that's it, you guys. There you have it. That is my two cents on aloe <laughs> and what I wear. And let me know, do you guys, what do you guys wear? Because I'm always looking for new workout leggings, new tank tops. Um, I don't love like the just the jog bra kind of thing. I like something that's a little bit more streamlined. I think the body looks prettier. Um, I don't love breaks in in the skin. Some women look awesome in it, and you know that's awesome. But for me, I kind of like that streamlined look. So um, 
so that's it, you guys. That Those are my two cents. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you love. And um, have a great Sunday and um, a good part of the first of the week. And we'll talk soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more. Leave me your comments. Talk to you soon.